The story of the project takes place in 1991 in Lithuania when Soviet Union was trying to take over back the control of the country, uh, country meaning Lithuania, who was just independent for less than a year. So the main confrontation happened near the strategical buildings. TV Tower was one of them and uh, the Soviet army came with tanks and uh, on the other side uh, you had innocent people guarding TV Tower with their own bodies and during that night 14 uh, Lithuanians were killed. So that's the historical setting of, of the project and we add a little bit of gamification on top as uh, in this VR piece you, you would come as a video journalist with camera and then uh, uh, you, you, you would have a controllers. Your right hand is uh, your camera hand, your controller, and your left hand, your left controller is your helping hand. So in this uh, VR piece, you would need to make a moral and professional uh, decision of a journalist in a conflict situation, whether to film what's happening in front of you and make evidence or to help people who are on the ground and pull them up and help them in some other ways. A cook for kill it's kind of like um, it's structured as a game, it's a game game film. So it's like cook, fuck, kill. It gives you hint what's going on. And plus it's about domestic violence and domestic violence is uh, happening in the kitchen, in the bedrooms. And yeah, and people kill each other basically. Again and again. So basically these three words uh, express very, very straightforward what's the domestic violence about. Well, Black Peter features the, the main themes of Miloš Forman that we can find basically in each and every film of in his career. It's uh, basically a conflict uh, between the generations. It's uh, the conflict between an individual human being and the system or the uh, machinery, the, 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 the kind of the apparatus of the society, if you wish. And uh, I think this is something that is uh, topical uh, even today. Uh, I'm sure that um, uh, the 16 years old people today are experiencing basically the same paradigm as uh, their, uh, their grandparents back in the mid-1960s. Heute steht ihm noch alles zurück zu mir in der Herz und der Stach. Jede Nacht in meiner Kleines und euch, wenn ich bin wach. Michał Waszyński porywa się na ekranizację mistycznego żydowskiego dramatu, a mianowicie Dybuka. Neighbors can be absolutely fantastic, or they can be a nightmare. Um, yeah, um, but we yeah we, we worked with uh, Poland, uh, Denmark, and Germany on this film, um, and, um, and that was uh, a really good and, and fruitful co collaboration. Uh, got wonderful people from these countries to co contribute to this. To this project and and um, and yeah and it brought like you know different influences you know on the work and and um, very happy with the outcome. The Polish Film Institute supported the project, so they brought in money from there. Uh, and um, f some of the requirements for this financing is that you have like key creative elements and. So it made 
sense to have a cinematographer from Poland. Uh, she was fantastic, uh, Monica, who came, she came through the co Polish co-producers and we had a lot, you know, big team, 10 or 12 people coming from Poland to, to work on the, the set in Iceland.